Good morning and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, November 21st, 2014. We're blessed to have with us Hey Rosetta. Audio Tree Live with Hey Rosetta. Thanks, you guys, for getting up early. I know much earlier than you wanted to to be here. Like, we really appreciate it. Um, I would like to start with, I, when I'm planning on going home for the holidays, you know, I was thinking about this clock that my family has, this old wooden Roman numeral clock that my little sister always used to call a Spanish clock for some reason, uh, that kind of reminds me of home. And I'm curious if you have, like, a, whether a wall decoration or a piece of furniture or something at your childhood home that makes you think about it, like when you envision that house that you spent time in, is there, like, a piece in there that reminds you of it? Anybody? would like to answer my my folks have a uh, 
have a, st- a stained glass window above the front door. Oh, sweet. That has, like, the number of the house. Okay, yeah. Uh, and it's it's kind of unlike them to have it there, but it's there nonetheless, and I, I really I really like it. Yeah. It, it, it You don't really notice it. You could be at the house many times, you wouldn't notice it. Okay. It's just this little piece there that, I don't know, it's like it shows some side of them or something. Yeah, for sure. Show. Yeah, maybe they intended on putting it there to, like, add some personality or something like yeah. that. Cool. Others? Any others? I Trish? have, uh, <coughs> in my dad's house, he has this stick that's shaped like a banana. Okay. <laughs> and it was just like some piece of driftwood he found or something. Yeah. But we, he always called it the banana stick. And when my brother and I were little, he never he, they never, like, hit us or anything, but he always threatened that if we acted <laughs> up, <that, laughs> you'd get hit, you'd get with, hit the with the banana <laughs> stick. And he kind of, like, played my brother and I off each other. He'd be like, man, I, I had to go with him with the banana stick the yeah. other day. You, know, <laughs> you want to avoid that, but... <laughs> That's pretty great. Like a <laughs> weird kind of discipline. It reminds yeah. me of that a little. I get like kind of nervous when I see it. When you <laughs> when you think of the banana stick, right? it's like something you did wrong. Exactly. Something you broke. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> others? Any others? Banana stick or a couch? <laughs> I, I remember. Well, I'm just thinking about Christmas now. I guess. Yeah. There's this one. I have two sisters. And for some reason, there was this really, like, cheesy, completely 80s, uh, glittery, golden unicorn oh, yeah. decoration that we would fight over who would actually get to put on the tree first. Oh, that's awesome. And then we'd, like, rip it down and hide it and, <laughs> and like, wrestle it out. Like, we still put it up every year, and it's, like, patched, and there's, like, no glitter left on it at all because it's been fought over for like years that's and years. that's pretty awesome what yeah. did you just like it because it's a sparkly unicorn or did it just somehow become that thing that you fought over i think if you saw it you'd know okay <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, man. It rules. Sweet. all right uh thanks you guys again for coming out and you can go into your next song oh, thank you yeah. all right this is a song called gold teeth all this hunger and
or switchers just go ahead and do that and I will say that Second Sight is out now and will be released in the US actually in January so uh, check out that and they're on tour through the end of November and then a Canadian tour starting in January through to the end of March oh. well while he's replacing that um, I would like to ask maybe some multi-instrumentalists because there are so much, Mara, if you would want to, maybe uh, which one you kind of picked up quickest, if you, I if there is one of these three that you're playing today that, that was like more natural than the others? Um, well, I guess I'm, I went to school, I studied music uh, playing French horn, so okay. that's like my base, yeah. and then I was always kind of making up tunes and stuff, and I just kind of taught myself also just like learning theory and different things like playing keyboard and guitar i just picked up trumpet actually with this band i'm the newest member in the band okay so, cool. so i joined in february and uh yeah i'm just kind of playing finding your place yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> so with keys then did you find that learning that learning that helped you appreciate or like helped you relearn instruments you already knew just because there's mm. so much um you know piano is like the foundation of a lot of music I yeah, guess yeah it's definitely like sort of I don't know what the word would be <laughs> like the first word that I remember was like cross pollination okay <laughs> sure yeah I don't <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> but it's like yeah. yeah definitely like learning theory and learning harmony like even just in a classroom kind of helped sure. pick up the piano yeah at the very least it like informs itself right the first instrument informs the second yeah, or whatever sure. like you're saying anybody yeah. else at tim do you have uh, insight on that or uh, i was just going to agree with you that i feel like the first instrument always informs the rest which okay is why i still can't play guitar because <laughs> <laughs> i learned keyboard because first. that was last oh okay i see <laughs> yeah which by the way i don't actually need for this song okay if you wanna, oh if sweet we, if we do if you're waiting for me yeah man oh no yeah i, I was string. just making sure everybody was in their spot and stuff cool. yeah take it away all right everyone ready yeah there's a song called kintsukuroi I 
Hey Rosetta on Audio Tree Live. So since there are many of you, and obviously you share a stage, and I'm sure you've shared hotels and your bus and all that, I'm curious how you find personal space, or if you're able to have, yeah, if you're able to have personal space, especially on the bus. Um, anybody insight into that? It's a challenge. Yeah. Do you have your own area? Like, does each of you have your own separate? No. Okay. Adam shakes well, his head. Your, He's like, well. You got your little bunk. Okay, your sure. Your little coffin, kennel style <laughs> sleeping area, which is, uh, which is, you know, it's better. It's it's better than you'd think. Okay. I think it's, uh, I mean, we're all pretty close. We're all pretty good people. I feel yeah. like we don't get too cranky with one another. Sure. It, it works. Do you try and put uh, like do you put pictures of I don't know people you like on the on the walls or like posters of your favorite band or something in your little <laughs> like in your little <laughs> like square? Little teenager area. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Or your own sheets? Does anyone have like an awesome pair of sheets that you sleep with? That's a really a good, good idea, a really good pillow should have like some personality somewhere. No. No, I have the worst pillow actually. <laughs> really. <laughs> One of those investments you need to make, but you haven't done. Is yeah. that it? Your pillow? I found a pillow last night, actually. Okay. And there's like there's a few bunks that have nothing in them. Okay. And I, w I just reached underneath me and found this amazing pillow last <laughs> night. I'm so excited. It's like yes. last day of the tour. <laughs> yes. It's be great. You'll bring it back to your bed. Yeah. Which, which brings me to mattresses in general. <laughs> a mattress purchase is such like... So necessary, but so exhausting. Like, cause it, when's the last time? Did, has anyone purchased a mattress in the last year, even? Not you have, Josh? Not no? last. Well, maybe the year before last. Okay. What'd you get? I don't remember a particular brand okay. name. Okay. Uh, I do remember that we bought this big, like, as my wife and I, we yeah. had just been married or whatever. We decided to get this like awesome big sort of queen size bed. And uh, we had to. I just remember everything about it was just torture. Like the whole process. <laughs> uh, we went to, I guess, <laughs> Sears, and we had picked one out online, and they were like, well, the online thing's different than in-store. So then you okay, go to the sure. store, and they're like, well, we don't have that one, but it's in the catalog. I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? Well, then you got to go to this other place where the catalog stuff happens. <laughs> anyway, it was just like, it was so painful. And then finally, the thing gets delivered to the house, and there's literally no way it's going to squeeze in like we had a flight of stairs with like this low landing thing and it just could it not cannot could go not go in not fit so then we have to send it back at our own expense and order another one that was more expensive <laughs> that was the same size but like cut in half so okay. then you like put yeah, two you can, bed I get it. halves together yeah and yeah so anyway not so pleasant my last uh, <laughs> mattress shopping experience yes exactly like i said it's a miserable <laughs> miserable so thing bad. but is the mattress worth it like do you now sleep well or no well strangely since then we've actually moved and uh we bought a house and the person who had been living there just like left all his stuff because oh. he had to flee the country or something but uh <laughs> he had a really awesome like king size bed oh, and oh. so now we're just like luxurious yeah dude you, know? you upgraded two there. of us and two cats and just like whatever we can all stretch out so <laughs> so now we're happy <laughs> amazing like, good, good mattress karma yes <laughs> sweet you paid it forward you yeah know? sweet you guys can go into your next song
Audio Tree Live with Hey Rosetta. You guys can go ahead and roll into your last song, and I will say that, again, Second Sight is out. It will be released officially in the U.S. in January, and look for a big, cold Canadian tour uh, January <laughs> through March. They're playing a bunch of dates, so check them out there. Thanks, Blake. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. Of course. How do you it's feel? Very sweet here. <laughs> very what do you here. What do you mean sweet? Uh, everything is uh, sweet and good. Okay, good. And professional and comfortable and bright and nice. It is. It there's some nice lighting. It feels yeah, good in here it's today. Cool. It's a great thing you got going here. We just got that Chemex, so we've been like experimenting with oh, it yeah. and sort of bragging about it and trying to feel cool about <laughs> how great our coffee is. So <laughs> it's a positive thing, I think. It seems yeah. to be important. It, 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 everyone in our crew, I'm not a coffee drinker, but every city we wake up in, the first thing you do is go find the best coffee in the city. Yeah, it's, seriously. It's a rough life, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blows. All right, we're going to do, uh, you guys almost get there. We're going to do a tune called Harriet. While she's setting up, Tim, what about uh, when you're forming a set list? What's like your ideas behind the cadence or kind of the the build of the flow, I guess, of the set? Are there like, do you think about that when you do it, or is it just kind of convenience of the instruments you're playing, or maybe your vocal thing? Yeah, it, I mean, traditionally it would just be it would just be the flow, you know. Sure. Um, what kind of uh, what kind of energy you're gonna have? You're gonna build. You're gonna let go of and. Um, but recently, because we have so many different um, technologies involved with this record, making this record happen live, yeah, I uh, the other yeah the other day I had to make a matrix of what everybody's playing. Yeah, every song right. To and actually uh, consult it. You know, I do the list like of musically how I want things to go, and then sure. I have to consult the matrix and <laughs> and see like what ties see if in a or glitch. yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> make sure there are no uh, agents walking exactly. around <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, it's been going okay. It's been going okay. But yeah, you know, usually uh, the, the hardest part is starting. It's like, what's the first song? Yeah. And then everything kind of, kind of flow from there. For sure. And you kind of have ideas of what are like your bangers, you know, that you could close out with or whatever. Yeah, we so that's we, already I don't know. Just the, way, just the way the band has progressed, we always seem to have so many last songs. Sure. And never any first songs. <laughs> you should just do like that, uh, you know, encore thing where you come out for like six of them. Exactly. Like, hey guys, we just played three songs. We're done. See you thing. later. Yeah. yeah, spring. Yeah, and just come back <laughs> for an seven. hour and a half again. <laughs> Everybody uh, good? All right. Speaking of closers, sweet. Here we go. <laughs>
Audio Tree Live with Hey Rosetta. Thank you guys for playing for us and hanging out. Thanks for having us. Yeah, for sure. Thanks to Dictator Cabs. Thanks to Goose Island. Awesome people in the studio and sound engineers. Camera and lighting crew hooking it up. Thank you very much. Viewers for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.